This is Gene Key, KDD News. A 23-year-old Amarillo woman died after colliding head-on with a semi on Interstate 40 early Wednesday morning. Justice of the Peace Debbie Horn says Candace Nicole Goucher was killed after driving on the wrong side of the highway. The accident happened a half mile before Arnott Road at mile marker 61 about 3. A witness says the car was traveling eastbound with its right blinker on in the westbound lane of Interstate 40, two miles before it hit the semi. The semi driver has minor injuries. Autopsy results are expected in a few weeks. The results are in for Tuesday's voting statewide. It seems water bond issues had mixed results. Austin'sKVUE.com is reporting Texas voters have approved a proposition enabling the state to create a $6 billion bond package to finance water conservation and sewage and flood control projects. The item, Proposition 2, was one of 10 propositions on ballots in Tuesday's statewide constitutional amendment referendum. Representative For Price, Republican representing Dumas and Moore County, says water is a critical issue all over the state, but more for West Texas and long-term reliable funding is desperately needed. Advocates of water conservation did lose a lesser battle. However, voters rejected Proposition 8, which would have given tax breaks to landowners who take measures to conserve water and preserve water quality. But conservative groups rejected the measure as redundant and costly to taxpayers. Another proposition involving bonds was defeated. Voters rejected an amendment that would have allowed counties to issue bonds to fund economic development. Price also said about the only initiative that had no problem with getting voters approval was Proposition 1. The measure, which will let surviving spouses of disabled veterans to keep claiming a state property tax exemption after the veteran dies, received more than 80% of the vote. Here's a quick look at the results of local races in the Texas Panhandle. Randall County approved their rural sales tax issue. Spearman approved a local option allowing alcohol sales. Perryton got their water park funding. Freona Independent School District approved school bonds being issued. And J.T. Smith was elected to the Miami School Board. This is Gene Key, KDD News.